channel. I've done a look for you today on the look that I'm currently wearing, which is what I'm also going to be wearing on Christmas Day this year. Spoiler alert. This is my festive, sparkly, shimmery, classic, festive Christmas look. I've gone for kind of a rose goldy, pinky toned eye and a nude lip, which I feel like is so, so nice on Christmas. It's not like wham bam in your face because you're going to be sitting next to your family around the Christmas table. So I didn't want anything that was too blinding if you are sitting really close to people but equally I wanted something really soft and feminine and natural and something that was just gonna enhance your features and make you look super festive. I've had a lot of fun creating this look today and I hope you really like it. Do let me know in the comment section below what look you're wearing this Christmas because I would love to see it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'm wishing you a merry, merry Christmas. See you in my next video. So I'm going to do my eye first today because I want to take a lot of care and attention to it and I want to get the winged effect with the eyeshadow. Normally I would start with my face but because I want to do my eyes perfectly and make sure that I can then scrub away here and clean up, I need to do my eyes first. Hi. So I don't know exactly what the look is going to be but I know that I want to go for a rosy, gold, pinky kind of eye because I just feel like that is so Christmassy to me, like a classic sparkly rose gold eye. So I've literally just got out all of my golds, all of my sparkly fit bits, <laughs> that sounds a bit dodge, all my sparkly shadows and all of my pinky kind of colours. So I'm trying to find my eye primer, oh, it appeared to be missing, but detective Becky struck again. So to prime my eyes, I'm gonna use my Painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pot by MAC. I have no idea why I show you this, it's so unhelpful. So it looks like this, and it's basically just like a light pinky, creamy, and I use my finger to apply it because the beauty of this is that it is really creamy, but it does need the warmth of your finger to be creamy. And I used to use a brush, something similar to this, but a bit bigger. And it would just go on a bit like pasty and thick. So I really think that it needs the warmth of the finger to go on really, really nicely. So I'm just going to put this on with my finger. All over the lid. Because it's winter, my skin does get a little bit drier, so I have moisturised. And I am being delicate with the primer as well. I just feel like... My skin needs some extra love and affection at this time of year, you know? I'm going to set that with some powder just to, um, basically the finish when you put this on is, is like tacky. So if you were to then go over um, straight in with some eyeshadow or something, it would be a little bit tricky to blend it out. So leaving it with a powdery finish means that when you apply powders now, it's all one big happy family. So I'm going to use my Sigma F35 Tapered Highlighter Brush, and I'm going to use my Translucent Loose Setting Powder by Laura Mercier, just to get it nice and powdery, and also just brighten it up a touch. I'm just dipping in very lightly, and then just tapping off, so it's a very light amount here. This is a very simple step, but there is a technique to this. So you do want to dab it onto your skin and you don't want to be dragging it. If you were to tug it just a tiny bit and get these wrinkles and then apply the powder in those wrinkles, you're going to get white streaks in your um, powder and you're not going to be able to get that off. So you want to make sure that you are just dabbing this powder on. After you've applied it, you can very lightly dust it off just in case you have a little bit too much sitting on your skin but don't drag while you apply. Okay so now that I have my eye set and kind of ready to go I'm gonna go in first of all with a MAC 224 which is my favourite brush to use whenever I go in with my first colour because it's so big and fluffy and I love to just like throw on a huge amount of colour here and not have to be too slow and like cautious with it just literally like throw it down and bob your ankle and one second just got to keep my lips from drying out you know that's like a key thing this winter if you have crackly lips your eyes can look amazing people are gonna look at the lips I just destroyed one of my colours but it's not the colour we're using today so it's fine. 
Um, it's really not fine, I'm upset about it. So, I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Navy 3 palette, and the color I'm gonna use da, 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 is Limit, which is this one. It's just a very light, pinky color. Swelling in a tiny bit, tacking off. And then I'm just gonna apply this lightly to my brow bone, so just above the crease. And I'm gonna use small circular motions and also go back and forth. And this is really just a process of building the colour. And I'm going to make sure that as well I'm bringing the colour right out here because as I said I am going to clean up this later with a makeup wipe which is why I'm doing my eyes first. I don't want any harshness to it. So the key is to just keep going in and building the colour slowly. And it's going to make your eye look bigger as well if you come closer to um, like the top of your nose bit than the thing you would. So I'm really elongating the eye from like here to here. And I'll also come back later as well and just clean up this section right here to make sure that's still kept nice and bright. And as well, when you're applying shadows to the lid, the best thing to do is to look down slightly so that you don't have the crease in your um, crease. And also just kind of like pull your eyebrows up slightly so that your skin's a bit taut because you want to have like a clean canvas with no wrinkles to be working on. Next I'm going to go over that just to golden up a touch with, um, so this is the Charlotte Tilbury Stars In Your Eyes palette and I'm going to use the far left um, shade of the power eye section so it's like this goldy. For sure I'm going to have fall down so I'm really glad that I'm going to be able to just wipe it away after. I'm going to start off by just using a JH33 brush and just going to add this as a light wash basically all over just to bring some of that gold sparkle. I really love this palette. And that is a really nice, like, rose goldy with a touch of shimmer effect, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Um, I love that. Next, I'm going to add a bit more um, into the outer corner, more of like a pinky colour, but slightly darker than the one I've just used to add some definition to the eye. So from the happy eyes section, I'm going to use this middle colour right here, which is like a warm pinky. I'm going to use a... MAC 217 to apply it and I'm going to keep it mainly in the outer section of the eyes and then in the crease as well so really creating a V shape at the back of my eye with this colour. I'm not going too far over with this colour, going to about um, halfway along my eye in the crease and then just bringing it out as well. And then I'm just going to go back in with my first brush and just make sure it's all fully blended out. So I'm going to start with the MAC 252 which is just bigger so it just means that I can cover more surface area faster and then when I get to the bit around like the edges where I need to work really precisely, I'm going to swap to my JH41. But I mean it's not necessary to use two, you could just use one and then either be extra careful if it was a bigger one or use a small one and just take a bit more time doing the whole lid. I have a little glass of water ready and a piece of kitchen roll. I just dip the brush in the water, nice and generous with it. You don't want it to be soaking, so you just lightly press it on the tissue. So it's kind of like damp. Then you can just go and press it into the shadow. It will take a while to like really pick up the shadow. You have to kind of keep pressing. It's kind of like paint. So when it gets moist like this, that's when you can really work with it. You can see it's like broken up a bit. And it's just a light pressing motion to go onto the lid. And I'm going to put this halfway along my eye, so just in the inner corner half of the eye. In fact, I don't actually need to use the smaller brush because 
this brush is okay. So this is the perfect colour for what I'm looking for. It's like a really, really nice um, shimmery, patenty, rosy, goldy colour. I'm in it. That literally looks so nice. I hardly ever use this colour and I've had it for ages and I love it! So next I'm going to use my Scattered Light from Hourglass. So it's just again a cute little pot like this. Like Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Reflect. And I love this. It's so so nice and so easy to work with so I literally just use my finger to apply it. And I'm going to put this more in the centre section of my eyes so just keep this like here. So this is just to take the glitter effect to the next level. And it's so easy to use but it looks so so nice especially if you pack it on top of a shadow. Then you can really like change the colour that it looks like as well. So these are a bit expensive, they're like 25 quid ish, don't put me on that but like ish, per pot. But they're so easy to use, you literally just use your finger, whack it on and it's so so nice. It's worth it in my opinion and it lasts so long because you get all of this and you literally use the tiniest, tiniest amount each time. So now that I've got the shadow and glitter on, I am going to intensify the outer V just a touch. The brush I'm going to use is the JH40 and it's a really, really small crease brush like this. So I'm just going to go back in with um, the Happy Eyes section from the Charlotte Tilbury Stars in Your Eyes palette middle colour, so this one. So I'm just going to really, really lightly Next I'm going to go in with an eye pencil to give me more of a defined wing effect on the top. So the one I'm going to use is this shimmery bronze um, eye pencil by Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know the exact shade because they don't they don't actually say, they all just say the classic eye powder pencil um, and they don't give that I can see the actual shade but it was just the like shimmery bronze one. So I'm just going to sharpen it first of all and then I'm just going to create a soft wing with the pencil. But I am only going to do it in the outer part of the eye. So the key with these pencils is to make sure they're super super sharp, even if they look a bit messy after you've sharpened it. Um, you want to make sure that the line that comes up at the end is really really thin and precise because that's going to make your eye look, look really delicate and feminine. And also I'm taking the um, eyeliner into about the center of the pupil and joining it from there to the end because again that's going to make it look more of a lifted cat eye effect. <sighs> Next I'm going to clean up the section underneath my eyebrows, highlight them a touch. So I'm going to use this really really small synthetic hair brush which is the JH42 as well as my NARS concealer. So I'm just going to take a bit straight off the wand with the um, brush and then just go in and clean up the section straight underneath the eyebrow. So that now just makes the eye look a lot neater and it's going to be a nice base for when I come back and do my highlighting. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So next I'm going to clean up the outer part of my um, eye. So I'm going to use just a standard makeup wipe. These are just from Boots. So I'm going to do this really, really delicately. And I want to make sure that, um, so first of all, the under section is fully cleaned up with any of the fall down. And then I want to make sure that the outermost bit of the eye is this eyeliner. So I'm just going to follow the eyeliner upwards, being really, really delicate with it. And then after I've cleaned up the wing, just going to make sure that I've got all of the fall down underneath the eye as well, because I want a clean base to be applying my foundation and doing the rest of my face with. And I'm just going to make sure that um, the edges there 
are fully blended out and there are no harsh lines, so I'm just going to go back in with my original brush, which was the uh, MAC 224, and just really, really lightly do some small circles here to make sure that it's a very gentle fade to the end. If needs be, you can just add a tiny bit of white um, eyeshadow, but not a shimmer, so I'm just going to use the colour Strange, but I'm just going to use the tiniest, tiniest bit just to help blend this out here so that it's a really gentle fade. Okay, I am happy with how that's looking so far. So I'm going to do the under eye now and I'm basically going to use all of the same colours on the bottom lashes that I used on the top. So I'm going to... I'm not going to use a like small, um, like a small lower lash line, blunt, short haired, like really small brush because I don't want any of the colours to be too like defined and you know like small and tight. So I'm going to use the brush I used earlier which is a really small crease brush to apply all of the lower lash colours. Um, so I'm going to start off and this is the JH40 with the shade Limit was which was the light pink shade which I used first of all on my I, so that was this colour from the Urban Decay Naked 3 colour. So just lightly, I like actually I'm going to put a tiny bit of concealer down first because I am going to bring the lower lash colours quite far down. So I'm actually going to first of all conceal my under eye and I'm going to use my YSL Radiant Touch Concealer. So it's a really neat little like penny thing so you just poke the end and then it comes out the top. So I'm just going to apply a bit lightly the lower lash line. I am going to come back again and like properly do my under eye concealer but this is just um, like really the lower lash line bit so that I can go ahead and put the shades down. I'm going to blend that in with my finger because I do want it to be really really careful with it and I love this under eye concealer. It's really like soft and it really is like radiant. I feel like it's really glowy and it's really gentle to use. I really like the colour because it is a bit more on the kind of like creamy pinky side than other concealers I have. And I'm just using a, like a really soft, gentle pressing motion to blend this out. I'm not like dragging or anything. Then I'm going to lightly set that with again my translucent powder. So I'm just going to use this really small brush and just a tiny, tiny amount of the powder. Just to, again, give the finish more of a powdered effect, which, um, as it was on the top, it's gonna be um, easier to then put loads of eye powders down and blend them out. And also, it's just gonna brighten the eye slightly. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Limit. No, you're not Limits. And I'm just gonna lightly blend this all the way along and try and do like brush strokes that stretch from one corner of the eye to the other so that the shadow goes down in that same way rather than doing like small um, back and forth motions like this because then I feel like the shade may look a bit jaggedy and I'm bringing this colour down to where my natural eye crease is and then with the darker shades I'm going to keep those closer to the lash line so I'm also like squinting my eyes as I do this just to um, like make it easier to blend the shadow because I can like really get in there, you know. Next I'm going to go in with the colour that I also used on the top, which is, um, which one was it? Far left um, shade from the power eye section. So I'm going to use that on the same brush, just lightly all over just to add a little bit of a golden sheen to the lower lash line. I'm probably going to need to use another makeup wipe just to clean up because these um, shimmers are a little bit loose, you know. Next I'm going to use the middle colour from the Happy Eyes section and remember this one is really really pigmented so I'm going to be really light handed with it and I am just going to keep it on the outer part of the lower lash line because it's going to make my eye look bigger and fuller and rounder and it's going to add um, that dimension to it. And also with this colour I'm linking up my top and bottom wing 
Next I'm going to use that slightly um, small synthetic hairbrush that I said I was going to use earlier but then didn't. So I'm going to use the same technique so wet it slightly and then go into, you know it, I'm going to go into my sweet heat, this little something something pot. But I'm going to keep this again like basically before my pupil even starts so I'm just going to do that tiny tiny bit with this colour. Just as I did with the dark shadows here which was linking the top lash line with the bottom with the wing like kind of dragging out here with this shade because I have this same colour on the top of the eye in this point so I'm now joining the top and the bottom again um, with this colour so basically like I have this oval eye the outer V joins with the darker shades and the same on the inner corner but joined together with the lighter colour if that made any sense at all then when I'm happy there is a sufficient amount of sweet heat in the lower lash line. I'm going to go back in with my Hourglass, probably my most favourite product that I'm using for this eye look. And I'm just going to put, as I did on the top where I kept it like in the centre part, I'm just going to put a tiny, like almost like a dot of it just in the centre part on the lower lash line. And for the finale, the final step on the lower lash line is to go back in with the pencil and just add a really soft pencil line, very, very tight to the lash line. This is going to really, really help to define the eye. Again, I'm linking the top and bottom lash line. So when I get to this outer bit, I am going to link it up. And you can see that the pencil line is really giving that eye the lifted effect that we all want. So it's really like pulling the eye out and up. But next I'm going to put on my Lily Lashes and these are in the style Doha. I'm going to whip these on and be right back. Next I'm going to put some mascara on and do my eyebrows. So just to finish off my eyes, I'm going to highlight um, here, so just underneath my brow, and also my inner corner. The highlight that I'm going to use is my fave, which is my MAC pigment in the shade Vanilla, and I'm going to use the same brush I used earlier, which is the JH42, which is this really, really small brush. This is the one I used to do the concealer underneath my eyebrow. So, I'm just going to use what's in the lid because it's always enough for these small parts. So I'm just going to tap in and tap off slightly and then just pop this um, on the inner corner and then underneath the brow bone just lightly and creating a slight V shape with the brush in this inner corner which is again just going to like widen the eyes. Okay my eyes are finally finished. That took ages but I'm really 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 happy with it. It's just turned out exactly how I wanted it to so it was worth it. Moving on to my face I'm going to use my fave foundation which is my NARS in the shade Mont Blanc. I'm going to use my go-to blending brush for foundation which is my Sigma F80 which is a flat kabuki brush. So just make sure all the hair is off my face. For this step and obviously because I have done my eye makeup first I need to be really really careful when I go and blend my foundation there and around my eyebrows because I do not want to ruin the work that I took over an hour and a half to create. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a few pumps on the back of my hand as always and then just lightly and what I like to do with my foundation is just lightly dot it all over my face before I then go in and blend it out because I just feel like this ensures that you get a really even coverage all over your face and it just helps with the blending process. For now I'm just going to go in and blend this in. The blending motion I'm using is like a very very light, it's kind of a wipe, it's not exactly like a tap but um, it's very very lightly dotted around the face. Next I'm going to go in with my NARS concealer and this is in the shade either light 2 or vanilla, I don't know at this point, but I'm going to put this underneath my eyes and then basically everywhere where I couldn't go too close with this brush because it's a bit too big and clunky. So like on the top of my eyebrows, on my nose, on my chin, but that's just for extra coverage. 
I'm gonna use my beauty sponge to blend this in, but as you know, if you're not new to my channel, I'm gonna get my loose setting translucent powder by Laura Mercier at the ready because as soon as I have blended in my under eye concealer, I'm gonna go in and set it straight away so it doesn't crease. As always for the concealer around my eyes, I'm going to use a damp beauty sponge, so I'm just putting it in my water and then going straight onto the tissue just to make sure that it is just damp and it's not like dripping and soaking wet, you know. Then going straight in with the loose setting translucent powder over the top. the wind effect I'm just going to use that straight edged line on this other end to make sure it's super precise. And I'm going to leave it like that to set just for a few minutes. While that is setting on my eyelids, I'm just going to go in and bronze up my face. So the bronzer I'm going to use is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow by Charlotte Tilbury. I love this. So it comes in a little pack with a bronzer and a highlighter, so I'm going to use both of them. And for the bronzing, I'm just going to use any big fluffy blending brush. And I'm not going to contour too, too much, but I'm going to, as usual, just pop the bronzer in the hollows of my cheeks. And onto the ear as well and also underneath my jaw to accentuate my jawline and also on the forehead just around the edges which is going to make the forehead appear a bit smaller which is always good for me I'm really pushing the bronzer into the hairline as well so it looks more natural and you don't have like an outer white line around your face while this is out as well, I am just going to contour my nose a tiny, tiny bit. Um, mainly just to bring some warmth to my like centre of my face, because at the minute I feel like I've got this big white thing on the centre of my face, and it's not looking great. So I'm just going to use a flat brush, which is a 230 by MAC, and I'm going to go into the same bronzer that I just used, and just really, really lightly draw on my nose. So you want to just do like a straight-ish line just really really lightly on the edge there and just a little bit on the tip as well which is going to give the nose a contoured effect and then I'm just going to go over that with the beauty sponge which should have a little bit of concealer and powder left on it from when I was just using it just to kind of soften it a bit and make it a bit more natural so I'm just going to wipe away the powder around my eyes now just really lightly using my tapered highlighter brush I do feel like my eyes are missing something I'm going to line my waterline with a white eyeliner pencil just to make my eyes a little bit brighter in the center. Yeah, that works. I feel like that just brings the whole look together and makes it all look a bit more tidy. For highlight, I'm gonna use my tapered highlighter brush and I'm gonna go back into the Filmstar Bronze and Go, Bronze and Go, Bronze and Glow palette by Charlotte Tilbury and I'm just going to go into this highlight. I really, really love this highlight because it's super natural and it's not like a white colour as well. It's um, like a bronzy, natural, glowy highlight, which is exactly the look I'm going for. And because this is a really natural highlight, I feel like I can get away with wearing a bit more, which is always fun. And especially with this look, I just think, like, more is more. <sighs> it is Christmas Day and all, so I'm kind of putting this all over my cheekbones. And even bringing it onto the apples of my cheeks a touch. And I'm going to put some down on my nose. I'm also going to put some just above the arches of the eyebrows, just to give forehead there a little sheen 
and on the cupid's bow. I think I'll stop there with the highlighter before I actually get carried away. A bit of a longer bit of the nose though. Next, for blush, I'm gonna use um, one that I don't actually use very often. I don't know why. Um, because I do really like it but I'm gonna use my Dior and this is in rosy glow and it's funny because it looks like really 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 pink in the packaging it looks really pink like this but it actually goes on really really naturally it doesn't have a scent but that's okay so I'm just gonna like fake smile a bit and then put this on the apples of the cheeks but yeah, it definitely is a bit more um, natural than it looks in here, and it's actually a really, really nice colour. And if you feel like you put a bit too much on, which maybe I did on this cheek, again, you can just kind of go over it with your sponge, which will always have a bit of like concealer left over. I'm just going to wipe off my lip balm. For lips. It was a complete toss up for me between the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick, which is this really cute, like, rosy, nudie lip, or the, the Candy K. And I think I'm going to go for the Candy K just because I don't want the look to be overly pink. It was always supposed to be like a rose gold look, and I feel like with a pinker lip, it will play on the pink side and you might lose a bit of the gold in the eye, but with a more nudie look, lip I feel like it will kind of complete the look and it won't be too pink or too golden. So we're going to line my lips first of all and then go over with the matte liquid lipstick. To set the face and to finish off the look I'm just going to give it a spray with the old fix glass. But there you have the finished look. I hope you like it. I literally love 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 it. Oozing Christmas and festive and snow and snowflakes and skiing and presents. It's exactly how I wanted it to be. It's the perfect combination of like pink and gold and I feel like as you go past the eyelid it kind of changes colour and sparkles so it's really really nice. I feel like it's so festive and it's so perfect for Christmas so I'm loving it and I'm definitely going to be wearing this this Christmas. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you like the look. Let me know what you wear on Christmas day and Merry Christmas!